This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hey guys, Big Paul here. Today I've got a good one for you. Um, this is a IFBB Pros female physique competitor, her off-season um, cycle what she takes this was told to me firsthand so this is not hearsay it's from the horse's mouth um exactly what she's taking um i promise to keep her anonymous so i'm not going to reveal who she is but this will give you some in insight on what a female competitor takes in the offseason a top olympian uh that is and i am going to apologize i'm probably sweaty nasty looking my air conditioner is broken it is 100 degrees in my house right now but i'm recording it videos anyway fuck it <laughs> all right guys we're going to get into it in just one second All right, so this female women's physique competitor, obviously female, she's a women's physique competitor. Um, uh, she is a top competitor. She is fairly large. Um, I think she goes like 180, 190 in the off season. She's a big gal, strong. Um, I, I, I learned firsthand what her off season cycle looks like. Um, she, she's one of the top competitors there in the IFBB. Um, and she um, evidently takes 700 milligrams of primobolin, 50 milligrams of Anavar every day, and um, and four units, four to six units of GH in the off season. So her off season cycle: 700 milligrams of primobolin per week, 100 milligrams a day, according according to her. 50 milligrams of Anavar every day. And then four to six units of GH. That is her off-season um, cycle for size. That's what that's what she's doing in the off-season. Um, she said occasionally, you know, she said she had messed around with putting a little bit of testosterone in there with it before, uh, but has not done that recently. Um, so I mean, that's a pretty healthy cycle. That's a, that's a gram of gear per week. Uh, it's more than a lot of dudes take. Uh, but Prima Bowl and I, you know, I, women are hypersensitive to AASs. And so, um, you know, while Prima Bowl is considered to be one of the mild or even the mildest, uh, anabolic you can use it, <laughs> that is still a lot of uh, gear for a woman. Um, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, in, intimately familiar with what female, pros are taking and I, I know more about amateurs recreational uh lifters gym gym lifters but i you know uh, this was the first i've ever really discussed with someone close um you know you know someone tied into the ifbb what what a, a female competitor takes now i don't know if that's typical I don't know, you know, somebody who knows more about the stuff than me. Uh, I'm, I'm not tuned in to the female competitors like I am with the guys. Um, I need to get someone on here who's an expert on female competitors to talk. It's, it's been hard. I've been trying to find somebody. Um, the coaches, there's only a handful of co coaches that work with the top female competitors, and they are very guarded and keep things close to the close to the vest uh, about what female competitors take, which I get. I mean, they've got a corner on a unique training market and they probably are making a ton of money. So they don't want to give away, give away the gold. Um, but I don't know. That seemed like a lot to me. Uh, you know, that, that sounds like a dude taking, you know, three grams of gear, but you know, maybe that's what, what the top, top, Female competitors are taking the off season, and if she's taking that much in the off season. It's probably way more for contest prep. We didn't talk about contest prep. Um, you know, I from what I understand, a lot of I well, I talked to another female competitor um, who told me that she uses trail on contest prep, which kind of blew me away. I I didn't I never thought that females use trail on contest prep. That one kind of blew me away, but uh, th this was not the same competitor, but I did talk to another one 
who didn't use quite as much as this lady did, but uh, she said that she was running um, 30 milligrams of Tren every, uh, I think it was, th yeah, 33 milligrams of Tren every other day um, for contest prep, which is, I was running 50. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would think Tren would probably be too androgenic for a woman to run without any sort of masculinization issues, but I guess, you know, if you don't care, fuck it, right? Go for it. it to each his own. Um, Primaball and should be fairly mild on the masculinization issues, but at, at 700 milligrams, I mean, it's still, it still has some um androgenic properties to it so i would i would imagine at 700 milligrams you're still going to see some masculinization and with with the um anavar stacked on top of it so i i would imagine that that would still have some masculinization uh, <laughs> effects on a woman but anyway guys that's all i got on this one i thought i'd share this one with you um this is the first i've actually talked to someone firsthand actually to someone's firsthand about um, you know, IFBB pro female competitors cycles, but this is, people have been asking me to talk about this and I've been trying and trying for months to get somebody to talk to me and I finally did. Uh, but anyway, the, 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 I found this to be interesting. Uh, if you have questions or comments or you know of any female competitors, what they're taking, uh, or you are a female competitor, I actually would like to hear from you if you're a female competitor, I, I'll keep you anonymous. Um, if you want to talk to me, I'd, I'd be interested to hear what you're taking. Uh, but anyway, if you have questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. For coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.